Okay, we are talking about area of a sector, of a circle. Sector is another word for part, and we're talking about exact answer in terms of pi. This is actually a little bit easier than using the approximate answer for pi because we get to leave pi just as a nice symbol. We don't have to actually use the decimal 3.14 and that makes the calculations easier. So the first thing to recognize is that the number of degrees, the number of degrees in a circle is 360 and that is going to help us figure out um, the proportion and the fraction that we need to set up. There are 360 degrees in a circle. So we are told that the circle has a radius of two meters. So that's two here. And we are told that it has a central angle of 130. And central angle means this part right here. That means this right here is 130 degrees. And we're being asked to find the area of the shaded region. So we're being asked to find the area just of this part right here. All right, so we know that it's not the entire area of a circle, but it is a portion of the circle. Well, what portion is it? Well, now we can bring this back up here. Uh, we have a portion that is 130 degrees out of a total of 360 degrees, and that is my fraction. That is the fraction that can lead me to the portion. If So it is that part of the circle that we are trying to find. Well, I need to then figure out what the area of the entire circle is. Well, the area of the entire circle, if you remember the formula, area of a circle is pi times the radius times itself, radius squared. So in this case, I'm going to take pi, and I'm going to multiply that by radius squared, 2 squared, which I think I can pretty easily jump here and we can agree that 2 squared is actually 4. So we can just put a 4 there. And because I'm looking for an exact answer, I'm not going to put this in my calculator and find a decimal. What I'm going to do is use some fraction multiplication. So I'm going to put everything over 1, that's a whole number, and let's come up here and let's start simplifying this fraction. The first thing I know is I can divide them both by 10 and get rid of this. So I can get rid of the zeros, divide them both by 10. And then what I can do next is I know that 4 goes into 36. So I'm going to divide this by 4 on the top of my fraction. And I'm also going to divide this by 4 here. And what I'm left with, I'm just going to move right down here to rewrite this fraction. I have 13. 36 divided by 4 is 9. And actually all of this then cancels out. That goes is 1, that is 1, that is 1, and I'm just multiplying that by pi over 1. Using my fraction multiplication where I just multiply directly across, I end up with 13 pi over 9. And that is the final solution to this problem. Of course I need my units. My units in this case is meters, so I need my units of meters squared. That is the final solution to this problem. Give it a try on Alex, and let's see if we can solve um, one more very similarly.